This is Dennis from USAEvote.com. Just started uh, marketing on Merck by Amazon. And I'm sure if you're new to this, watching this video, you've seen this warning pop up. Please upload a valid PNG. So you start searching on the internet and you find, uh, of course, you search on Merck and they tell you to load up a 4500 by 5400 PNG. Seems a little complicated at first. Took me about 10 minutes to figure this one out. But you just got to follow instructions. So, what I did is basically I uploaded a PNG. I'm going to close this one down for a second here. But I use GIMP because it's Linux based. I use a Linux computer. And what you want to do is you want to open this with GIMP. Select that. It'll open up in a couple of seconds. The thing I like about Linux systems and the thing I like about GIMP is the fact that it's developed by people that actually use the system. They use GIMP. They do a million things on it. You can, you can download it for free. There's hundreds of videos that show you how to do everything on it. It's a system made by people that actually use the software and when I use Linux stuff, it just makes more sense. It's, it's like I said, developed by people who use the system. Unlike, if you look back at Amazon, you're going to see it's just uh, basically developed by <laughs> programmers. <laughs> programmers that aren't selling t-shirts. So they're just throwing up a program they think works, and then we rest of the world has to try and struggle through it and figure it out. I'm still figuring it out. I'll do other videos on it later. But right now, we're going to take a look at, this is the artwork I already developed. I uploaded a PNG, and you can take the GIMP, you can convert it to PNG. I can do another video on that, but what you want to do is you want to hit image, and you want to hit canvas size. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this thing just to show it. Well, if you follow the instructions on Merck, it's going to tell you to use 4500. And if it's locked, you click in here and you got 5250. That's not going to work. So you got to unlock it. You got to go to exactly 5400. Resizes it. What I do is I center it. Okay. Now I've got this thing centered, exactly in the middle. But it, it shows this big gap up on top, which, you know, come on, you're going to make a t-shirt. You don't want to be tucking in your t-shirt and cut off half the bottom, or a third of the bottom, whatever. So I just use like a 100 up here, moves it up pretty close to the top. Not too close. It's still centered. Okay, we can resize all layers. You can. It doesn't really matter what you put in here. Maybe somebody else can explain that, but we're going to hit the resize. And boom! We got exactly uh, 4500 by 5400. So you want to go to your file. You want to export as. And what I typically do is I because I deal with other t-shirt companies like Printful, it's a lot easier to upload on there. I just call it an Amazon. Because then I know this is one that's good. Okay, I'm in my t-shirts. I'm in my Amazon folder. Because this is where I'm going to keep all my t-shirts for Amazon. Because they got to be different from the rest of the world. And I'm just going to hit the export. compression level everything I just use the standard it's going to take a little couple of seconds to create a new one oh and we got a new one okay and we're going to see if this one works we're going to go back over to work by Amazon we're going to 
choose this one that we just created and it's going to take a second to upload sorry I'm not using any copyrighted background music in this video I just have to uh, live with it but you're going to get the information okay after this thing uploads it slowly starts drawing it's not my computer it's the uh, Amazon Merc uh, it's got to go through uh, probably sending it a couple hundred miles okay now we had a, a 100 let me see if I can zoom up here actually okay I can actually zoom on this thing that might be a little close a little far from the top but it looks pretty good on the bottom might want to use play around with them see if uh, you're gonna use uh, maybe zero offset from the top or something but I'm just trying it with this 100 right now and seeing how that works uploaded a few of them up there and uh, you can go in and choose your colors this and that it's that's gonna be another video right now uh, I've already reached my limit for the day and adding in there to edit the details you pick your colors uh, select your products they have uh, the US the UK and, and this is Germany DE it must be Deutschland and you can check and uncheck these but I'm gonna get into that more in another video when I'm gonna do a live video of actually adding an entire product to uh, Merck as you can see when you get down here this review is not lighting up took me maybe probably a good two hours to figure that one out but that's about it for this video and now that you know how to use GIMP and save this one, you can start uploading your t-shirts and I'm going to create another video probably tomorrow or something when I can actually get on to Merck and add some new products. I've got that down. But Hopefully you can leave some comments on the bottom, add some extra tips, and if you're interested, you can actually go on to our website at usaevote.com and check out our t-shirt line. Just hit the uh, USA Evote Apparel. And we've got a selection of t-shirts already available on there and like I said we're using Printful but we're gonna try going with uh, this Amazon Merc see what that does for us on sales there's a little thing about here on pricing as you can see our, our typical t-shirts 9 to 13 bucks for extra extra large and on Amazon, they're a little bit more expensive. We gotta readjust some of these prices here. But if you're interested in buying some of these t-shirts, especially the the new Get Out the Vote series, uh, you can go on to usaevote.com and start buying. If you have any questions just leave a comment on a video below and to tell you the truth I'm thinking I'll probably make more money off of this video on YouTube than I will on selling t-shirts but everybody's got to try something anyway I just wanted to uh, kind of show you a little bit about our new get out the vote t-shirts and I'm not even finding them on there. Having a little trouble syncing. 
But USA Evil, we basically have categories on American history, uh, the Revolutionary War. I got articles on the Civil War. And, and these are articles you're not going to find anywhere else. Uh, we got World War I history, uh, little known battles, uh, Christmas truce. All these things are original articles. They're written. There's there's a lot of schools and everything that actually come on here and use the material that we put on there. We develop our own artwork on GIMP. And these articles are easy to read. They come with a couple of graphics. We basically use copyright free graphics that uh, we can use. We've got some stuff on current events. The impeachment that's going on today. Uh, post some videos that are really interesting. Uh, Trump's speech in Battle Creek. Nancy Pelosi's delivering a speech after the impeachment. We've got articles of articles of impeachment. We got news on the space program. And We've got Today in History, which basically goes back during the years and lists the historical events in America for that particular day. We've got uh, Faith of Our Fathers, I mean, we've read it going on. We've got a register to vote link that we're going to be adding some material to. But if you click on here, it'll take you right to the website. That'll uh, show you how to register and vote. And that website's right here. So if you click on here, it'll take you right to the .gov. You want to look for the .gov to register to vote. You don't want to be given anybody else other than a .gov uh, Double check this, USA.gov, and register to vote. I went through, I use this website. I got my, because I moved, so I got my registration all updated. I'm all ready to go out and vote, and we're hoping to, that's our, one of our main themes is to basically educate America on what it took to build up this country, and to get people out and, and become educated voters. If you look at uh, our main page that we got here, we've got some interesting comments about uh, the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. What does that mean? That means we have to be educated. Patton once said, if everyone is thinking alike, then someone isn't thinking. Well, that's what we're seeing here in America is basically some political atmosphere is to get everybody to think the same, accept everything. And typically we're going to some pretty radical changes here. John F. Kennedy he was assassinated for saying only an educated and informed people will be a free people. Well, when you start studying John F. Kennedy, it's, 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 it's in seeing what's happening in the world today, you can see why he was assassinated. Ronald Reagan. On Constitutional Day, September 17th, 2013. Remember, September 17th. Constitution Day. Well, the Constitution may set forth rights and liberties, only the citizens can maintain and guarantee those freedoms. Act of an informed citizenship is not just a right, it is a duty. Reagan didn't go as far as Kennedy, but we're trying to take that away from us. So you can read this information. Wash ass. Trivity. 
trivia. I got some upcoming events. So that's it for the USA Evil website. And now that you can size your products, I'm gonna do another video that's gonna uh, work with uh, how to actually get to the next step and get your product submitted for approval. Later.